Because we can't, we can't lose this thing. And we're, we're playing for life. But we got life. Amen? Amen. Isn't that gracious to be simply just being a prince of the Lord? Day after day after day after day. And have it get better and better and better. I don't know about you, that's what's happened to me. You know, I got on this kick. The people that know their God are going to be strong. Amen. But the people that don't ain't. God's here in a great mighty way for those that know their God. They're going to get strong. But the people that are here and don't know He's here, they ain't. But that's fine. That's the choice God's given us. And if you, you know, it's amazing because I know what it's like to live miserably. But I also know what it's like to have the joy of the Lord as your strength. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. you got the joy of the Lord as your strength. You don't need anything else. Amen. Those aren't just words. That's reality. Right. I mean, a lot of times, us Christians, we go around with the jargon, you know, talking to talk and walking, well, talking to talk. Talking to talk. Talk cheap. <laughs> oh, whiskey calls money. How about all that? <laughs> Amen. I just pray you just get it. That's all. I know I got I got it and it's better for me and I see other people that, that really want to get it and learn about God on his terms. And by the way, he wants to bless us and his blessings to those that know him. Unbelievable what the Lord is able to do for those that are willing to listen to him. Amen. Amen. Tell those guys with the cross one in. Praise the Lord. How was it out there? Cold, but all right. Amen. What's that mean? Uh, I'm willing to do anything for the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's all right, then. How about you, dear young man? What are you grinning about? You're dancing around here like you. Happy. I'm always happy. It was good. All right. What was good? Amen. First time. Though. First time? You like that? Yeah. Think if you get addicted to it? It's too cold, though. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I hate to tell you about my grandma. She was always cold. In her later part of her life, you know, just to get warm. Praise the Lord. How was it out there today? Oh, it was nice, dog. We had love, some of experience. Um, we didn't get to bring anybody back. But we prayed for some lost souls, and uh, we also blessed the people in God's name. Uh, one particular incident that happened, um, we were walking with the cross. The gentleman had walked past us from home, but they were like 50 or 100 feet. And all of a sudden, he turned around and came back. He asked me to pass the cross. So, of course, he left. But I was the best. Amen. Bless you. No, man, how was it out there? I'm ready to carry it back. Praise the Lord. Very, 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 very fulfilling to be able to do something besides what I was doing. I hear it. You don't have to say anymore. You don't have to say another word. You're in the mission. You guys are in the mission, right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. I was blessed to pray for a guy who was with the spoon in the trash can, and it was just nice to encourage him in the Lord. Amen. Bless you. For me, my, my experiences when I was carrying the cross and the pain that I feel, but as soon as I take it off my shoulder, I feel more power in me, and that's something that I experienced, I don't know about the other guys, but I know I was feeling a lot of pain, but as soon as I give it up, I feel more extra power. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Yeah. Good. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is this better than the Super Bowl? Amen. Absolutely. I think you probably tried, but never, they never, this team never made the Super Bowl. How was it out there? It was actually good, man. It was, uh, it was a, I was tell you the truth, uh, I, I wasn't on this, to, this schedule to do this. Uh, I had a couple of people who kept coming by my room bugging me this morning about going out with them. And I'm really happy I did. I got to meet some great people out there that, that really appreciate everything that you guys are doing here, that we're doing here in their lives. You know, you, you're giving them the opportunity to bring church to them. Uh, where they can't come out and get, and uh, it was it was it was a nice time, and I enjoyed it very much. 
Praise the Lord. <laughs> you carried a cross with a suit on? No, I changed actually. Because we got back early, and, and I usually don't get to dress up for Jesus on Sunday, and I always stand next to you and you got the suit on, so I'm like, I'm going to wear a suit. How was it out in the street? I don't care about the suit. It was awesome. Actually, uh, Miss, Miss Tilly, for everyone that knows Miss Tilly, she says that. She, was, she said she missed Johnny, and that uh, she goes, where's the guy with the mustache? Is he coming back soon? Like, they'll be back soon. Vina and Johnny will be back, and they love you, and they miss you. But um, the coolest part for me today was this was lying on a fence, and it made me think of you, because uh, look, it says, it's a little poem, I think, and it says, sometimes God is described as a cosmic hammer who takes delight in smashing broken people. Many think he's affiliated with politics or power and money, the corporate king with nothing better to do than building an earthly empire. Have you fallen for those lies? Do you really know who Jesus is? His mission was to bring hope, healing, and redemption to people with shattered lives. Here's, here's a part of my review. He loves outcasts and misfits. There's nothing you, you have done or has been done to you that can't stop him from reaching out to rescue you from the mess you're in. So before you walk away from the one who loves you most, stop and listen to his words and let hope flow into your heart. God bless you guys. I love you. God bless you. Go get it. You know, we just started, I don't know, wasn't too long ago, we started an outreach right across the street in Trailer Park. We got that little clip ready to go? So come up here and tell us about this outreach. He didn't even know we had the clip. In fact, Jesse, in fact, Jesse's got a bunch of guys, about half a dozen guys out today, carried across to another church. Pastor Jesse? And he just happened to come by last night and show it to me, and I said, well, see what we can do, and Deborah and said, yeah, she could get it up and going, and Robert, and so they did, and so let's see it. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a, a clip of the outreach we're doing across the street uh, at the trailer park. Um, God put it on our heart after, after a soul winning class we were out witnessing, and we just saw a need. And, uh, you know, God is faithful. He, he takes people who turns their back on him like the word God has given me we I turn my back on God but not only did he take me back but he gave us something to do and it's like uh, private prayers and public answers we're getting we're getting public recognition for what God is doing in our lives people are being touched kids are being touched kids are learning the word of God our new brother first face Thomas he's he's done a um, he's doing a contest he, he gets contestants and he asks questions and he gives away gifts for the kids who answers the the word of God, and, and, and there's Brother Luis right there, and there's the old fat guy, and and, and and there's Brother Steve. He brought the word. We got Derek right there. You know, Christians and disciples are just coming out and, and being a part of the community, and they're talking with us, and they're showing up and, 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 and telling us their names and, and, and sharing their lives with us, and, and that's just an awesome thing to be a part of because uh, I don't know about you, but we've taken so much from this world. And now we have a chance to give back. And that's just an awesome thing to be a part of, to have a purpose and a destiny. And it's just right across the street. Church on the street is across the street. And they're coming in and, and, and being blessed by us, you know. And, and I just want to say this real quick in closing. I don't want to just say the, the cliche, Pastor Walt, I thank you for your vision. I know you hear that a million times. What I want to say is, my way of thanking you is just by being obedient to the things that you set Amen. before us and just go do it and just show it. Amen? Yeah. Amen. God bless you. Isn't that exciting? That's what I'm trying to communicate. If you do it, you're blessed. If you don't, you ain't. Praise the Lord. You know, we, got some, we get some people that come out of prison here. Some of them are even kind of cute. <laughs> some are our robbers. In fact, John Robert came in this morning all excited, couldn't keep her on the floor about something that has happened in her life. So come on up here. You got a grin on your face, I'm telling you. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to show you now. This is my son's award for principal's list straight A's and one B okay this is unheard of from my family unheard of do you know where we come from you know where we come from okay um, I went to prison for armed robbery and 
I found the Lord in prison, or he found me. Uh, I came here, and God totally changed my life. Um, I have two beautiful children that I really turned my back on and left so I could go get high, do drugs, rob people. I mean, I just turned my back on my kids. Um, my kids really had a hard time. However, I prayed for eight years, eight years. And I really want to tell you this. One time me and Danny were driving to church here, and I saw this boy, and he looked just like my son, just like him. So, I mean, I started crying. I mean, I couldn't, I was just hysterical. I mean, I was just tore up for eight years up for walking and abandoning my kids. And I, I promised God, God, if I could just have one more chance to do things over. And sure enough, last year on April 1st, I got my kids back after, after my rights had been severed. But I came here, and this is where God touched and changed my life and my heart and my mind and my soul and my mind and my will and my emotions. Amen. And I've been reading Jeremiah 18. You know, we are the clay and he is the potter. And I often say that church on the street is the potter's wheel, yeah. where he does touch us. Yeah. Um, but this is unheard of. This is unheard of from where we come from. There's nobody in my family that's ever, I'm sorry, been on principal's list, hello. I mean, we lived a crazy life. And this was just not a part of our plan. But God has a different plan. God does have a different plan. And we can overcome, we are overcomers. We can overcome the obstacles because Christ is with us. It is so awesome to see my kids walking with the Lord. I mean, that is a, that's, that's awesome to see my babies praying and singing praise to God. Now, I, I can't believe that. Amen. Ephesians 3.20 says, He who is able to do immeasurably more than you can think or imagine. Amen. I'm so excited for what he has in the future for Connor and Bailey and my husband and me and my dogs, okay? My dogs are even blessed. They get the bones from the steaks. <laughs> I And my daughter made principal's list too. I, and I mean, um, this is a funny thing too. Um, I do, I, I go to field trips with my daughter, and Danny goes with my son on field trips, and they climb the mountains. Um, I have a bread maker, and I bake bread. <laughs> okay, that is unheard of. We come from a crazy life. Who would ever thought that I'd be baking bread? <laughs> Going on field trips with my daughter, baking cookies. You know, it's just a new life, and I... <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm so excited, and I thank God. Thank you. you know what else you do? Honey, do this, and honey, do that, and he does it. Yes, that's true. And hey, where did he come from? Oh, 15. You say you think he would do honey do's before? Uh... No, no. Never. Never. But God, but God can right, but God. change anyone. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was on the principal's list. Anybody else on the principal's list? I got C's and D's. I mean, I was on his. You know what kind of list? You know God's gracious, isn't he? I'm telling you what, it is fun, 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 fun to be a Christian. Amen? What do you think? you think we need to pray for some people this morning? Frank, where are you? There you go. Come up here. He, he, a long time ago, he says, you know, I got a burden to pray for people. And so, you know, it kind of slipped my mind. He's got that burden. Let him get up and, you know, uh, all of us, how many of us have needs? Spoken, unspoken needs. Amen. Come on, pray for us. If you got some needs you want to tell us about, if you know about it or whatever, just pray. We all bow our heads. Heavenly Father, uh, by means of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we are able to approach the throne of grace boldly because of his sacrifice on the cross 
and the shedding of his blood for the remission of our sins. I want to thank you for that, Heavenly Father. We bow down to you in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we all have needs here. I ask you to, a to answer every prayer in this congregation today. We ask that you would give all our needs, Lord, because all of, all of us have needs. Pastor Walt, his wife, all the pastors here, the administration, we ask that you bless this place, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your Holy Spirit on the whole place, Lord, that everybody would be obedient, and we will show our love to you by being obedient to your word, Lord. I ask that the truth that you have in your word would set us all free from all demons and all ungodliness, Lord. Lord, we want to be righteous like your son, Lord, so please make us all righteous, Lord. We thank you for everything that you have done in our lives, Lord. We ask that every one of us would come closer to you. We ask that all our families, that you would bless all our families, and that you would get the nutrition that we need, Lord, and that's the word, Lord. You said that, that every man that lives should not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. And we thank you for that word, Lord, for without your word, we would have no hope, Lord. So we thank you for the hope that you have been given us, Lord. We ask that all of us would trust in you with all our hearts and that, that we lean into our own understanding. That in all, our, in all our ways we acknowledge you and that you will direct our path. We believe that, Lord, because you are faithful, God. And we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your unconditional love, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, your faithfulness, your righteousness, your holiness, and your truth. And the peace you give us from your salvation, Lord. We thank you for all these things, Lord. And healings, Lord. We know you're going to heal, Lord, because your word says that. You sent your word and healed them all, Lord. So we thank you for this, this day, Lord. We thank you for the mercy that you give us on each and every day, Lord. And we confess all our sins, Lord. We don't need no sins in our life, Lord. We want to please you, Lord. Your word says that you up. Uh, we please, I mean, that, that we should do all those things that pleases you, Lord. So that's what we want to do, Lord. Let us please you, Lord. In all our heart and soul and mind, we love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Anybody have a birthday, Charles, last week, this week, next week? You had a birthday, stand up. Robert, would you go up and lead us in a happy birthday? You know, you guys are special. This is your day. That's one thing, you know, we get so caught up in things that we forget about us being important. Well, you're important to God. And us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. And a whole bunch more. Danny, you want to go up and take your offering? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's have everybody give just the loudest scream you can for the Lord right now. Everybody, praise our Lord. Praise our Lord. But over there in the banquet room, can you hear us? Let, let, me, let us hear you this morning. You guys hear them by the door? Okay, you gotta, gotta open the doors to do it. Just hear it one more time over there. There you go, praise our Lord, amen. See, we got a bunch of people that love the Lord in this house today. This is an awesome, this is an awesome ministry. I mean, you heard my wife right here. You know, and it, and it you know, God does give you another opportunity. You know, he, he, he plans and paves a way to just get yourself right. If you were wrong at one point, and then he brings you to a place that, that uh, is fertile ground. Amen. This is a perfect, perfect place, a perfect opportunity for you to sow your seed into this ministry. Because you see the fruit that I was talking about last week. You know, you hear of the fruit, the fruit. But you know what? We actually get to see the fruits of what God is doing in this ministry and across this town. But you know, there's a lot of needs. We just heard the prayer. But I was talking to Joe, and uh, you know, the insurance for the buses and the vehicles itself is like $10,000 a month. 
you know, a thousand dollars a month just for toilet paper, you know. Oh, just five thousand for buses alone, I guess, you know. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ten thousand for insurance and gas a month, you know, for all the vehicles, the buses, and you know, it, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money to to run this ministry, you know, and. and um, you know, the Lord wants you to be obedient. Lord, the Lord wants you to be obedient, wants you to trust him and believe what it says in his word. And there's no way you can out give God. I've learned that principle big time to where I just, I just rely on him. I rely on the word of God and what he says and promises that he will do if we do our part. So, and that 10000 a month isn't the only bills that we have. Okay, there's a lot more. I think it's like forty or forty-four thousand a month that this ministry has to pay. This is aside from the Dream Center. Okay, this is Church on the Streets monthly bills. Okay, and it takes a lot. So, you know, uh, if you if you have there's family members that are here and you have family uh, children, sons or daughters or nieces, whatever, and and you're here for the first time or you're here continuously, so into this ministry because, you know, not only will you help the ministry, but you'll help yourself. If you're doing your tithing, because God says, you know, to tithe. And, and I, I really hope that you look that up. If you don't really understand what that means, look it up, study it, and see what it means. And let God bring it, bring the truth of it into your heart so you can just learn to start trusting him. And again, there's, there's many needs. There's many needs. But as the money comes in, we're able just to to take care of God's work. And ultimately, this ministry is about soul winning. And you can't put a price on a soul. And there's a lot of souls out there in the world, out there in the streets of Phoenix, Glendale, wherever we go, that, that need to hear the word of God. They need to hear the name of Jesus Christ because there's power in the name of Jesus. And he can turn anything around and give you double portions of favor. Like my son and my daughter here, they're, God, they're both on the principles list. For real, a year ago, this month, Connor was making straight F's. But because of the consistency and the love and, and the direction, his potential is coming out straight A's. Amen. So I see a good future for this young man because the prayers are being answered. And see, that's the fruit. It doesn't only affect us here, it affects our family. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we give you the praise, honor, and glory. Father God, we just love you so much, Father God. And Lord, I just... Pray as always, Lord. Open up the hearts, Lord, and understanding, Lord, of both the, the value, Lord, of giving back to your ministry, Lord. Giving back and sowing seed back into a, a fertile ground that you just bless, Lord. Continue, Lord, just to provide, Lord, but also, Lord, bring that provision of people's hearts with understanding, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.